number seven here to Arias. Here comes a 2 2. Little flare, center field, down. Here comes Davis. Here comes the throw. And it's over. A walk off for Urias. The Brewers win in 13 innings. Luis Urias with his second walk off as a Brewer. And a four hour and 44 minute marathon comes to a close in the 13th inning. And Rock fitting that the guy who may have saved the game with a play at third base ends up winning it for the Brewers in the 13th. Brewers finally able to dump a single to drive and a run. The Brewers two for a 17 with runners in scoring position, but the base hit here in the 13th, that was the big one. It wasn't exactly a Prince Fielder walk off bomb to right, but I think the Brewers are going to take it. Looked like a cut fastball, went down and got it, got jammed, but able to dump it in right. Jonathan Davis got a good break on his saw it drop. And Craig Council doing the right thing, pinch running for Renfro. Got the better speed on the bases, and it pays off. Broken bat towards short, backhanded, throw nowhere. Astros win, Astros win. J.J. Manajevic puts the ball in play, and the Astros walk off the New York Yankees three to two. And with that win, TK, they take the season series. What an interesting way to get it done. It feels good, it's good to see a young man like Matajeta get the opportunity to come through and you're right it's a matter of just putting that ball in play and forcing the defense to cover it and with that pull shift being played against him the crowd went nuts Tyner Palepa threw the ball to second thinking Flavor Torres might be covering but there was nobody home yeah that Hail Mary didn't have a receiver the 0-2 Bouncer in the hole, off the glove, into left. Here comes Tapia, and the Blue Jays win it. You know, there's a thing in baseball called a character win. I think this is a character win. Let's see what you're made of. You come into the bottom of the 10th inning, you're down by two runs, you put together some really good at-bats. You cap it off with a base hit through the left side by Teoscar. This is going to pull everybody together. It just found a way past Bobby Witt into the outfield and let the celebration begin. And what a celebration that was. Just an unbelievable ninth inning to cap off an unbelievable game. Did he, he called it. And he was up there looking at the first pitch. And Hader challenged him above the belt. Middle in. And he knew it. And he walks it off with a grand slam. And I wish I could tell you I saw this inning coming. And what turned out to be one of the best games of the year never felt like it till the ninth inning. The Giants hit three home runs off of Hader in the ninth inning, including a grand slam on a walk-off by Mike Ustremski. So Andy ready to go. First and third. 
Infield halfway for the Pirates. And it won't matter. Anderson comes through. That one's toward the gap. One run's going to score. Garcia's on his way to third, and he's getting the green light. Here comes the throw. There isn't a throw. And Brian Anderson comes through. It's a Marlins win. Good thing he wasn't hit by the pitch. Do you know that he wanted to drive that ball somewhere in the gap? He gets the slider, stays on it, and boy, did he rip this ball to right center field. And great job by Abby Garcia, not stopping at all as he makes his way all the way from first from, from first to home. And they go and mob Brian Anderson. Once again, the Marlins walk it off. Last night it was the 10th. This afternoon it's the 11th. Back-to-back walk-off wins for the Marlins. They get a split against the Pirates. And the pitch. And that one gets away as well. Here comes LeMayu. He scores a walk-off wild pitch. And the Yankees win it 7-6. The birthday boy slides across with the winning run. And the Yankees win this one 7-6 in the Bronx. Aguilar, the winning run at third. Kicks away. Here comes Aguilar. Delay gets it. And the Marlins are going to win it as soon as he steps on home plate. It's a Marlins walk-off win. A wild pitch and a wild finish. 5-4. Especially the right side of the field. And this game is over. It'll be scored a base hit for Brandon Crawford. And the Giants come back after trailing 3 0. And they win this game. And a nice win when it's all said and done. It got into the later innings. It's just one quality at bat after another for Brandon Crawford finally. In nine lifetime at bat, gets his first hit. And it's a walk-off home run. And the Giants win the series. And they even up the season series with Arizona. And they take great momentum into the four-gamer that they're going to face with Milwaukee starting tomorrow. Riley ready, Weems is two. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing line drive, base hit left field. Dansby's going to come home. We're a game and a half out of first. Fourth one in a row. Austin, beautiful day today for him. Him and Dansby both outstanding. And it wasn't the prettiest today. And they had opportunities, but again, at the end, they're able to push through, get a sweep. No better way with the Mets coming in town and getting a sweep the weekend before, like you said, one and a half. And to think five weeks ago they were ten and a half. Picked up nine games in six and a half weeks. Yep. Have the Braves closest.